Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Porsche Design Speaker. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one is 650 bucks. I repeat, 650 bucks. All right, so let's take it over to the website. Now I picked this one up from uncrate.com. Now if you've never heard of uncrate, I call this the modern day sharper image, also known as the James Bond website. This is one of my favorite new websites for browsing products. They got everything, okay? They got cars, they got, they got watches, jewelry, clothes, and most importantly, tech. So let's take it over to the tech tab. Now, of course, they're gonna have the Apple Vision when it comes out. Okay, you got the Apple M2 Ultra Mac. This is where I get all my Marshall speakers from. I ordered the Razer phone. I got the Chinese version instead because I didn't feel like waiting for the global one, but that's coming next week. This is next up on my list, okay? This uh, non-lethal shotgun, I need that. Okay, they got PlayStation 4 accessories, PlayStation 5 accessories. Look at this, the BlackBerry Pocket computer. They got a lot of stuff. All right, now I'm gonna find this poor speaker real quick. Let's hit more stuff. They got the Pixel Fold. I ordered one of those too, but here it is. The Porsche 911 speaker. Okay, this is the Porsche 911 speaker 2.0. Like I said, 650 bucks. Now, it's not the first speaker from Porsche design to be based on the tailpipes of the 911, but the 911 speaker 2.0 is the first that's portable. Designed to mimic the tailpipe trim from the 911 GT3 992 specifically, it packs an impressive 60 watts of power with Bluetooth 5.0, Qualcomm APTX HD, and NFC support for convenience. The integrated battery offers up to 16 hours of playback, and the speaker can be paired with other Porsche speakers for a more robust in-room sound experience. An included Porsche brand case keeps the speaker safe during transport. Okay, 650 bucks, the Porsche 911 2.0. Like I said, now this is uh, <laughs> this is pretty sick, based on the tailpipes of the 911 GT3 992. This is for car lovers right here. Now before I unbox it, let me say this. I already know somebody's getting ready to complain about the price. Remember, I do not make the prices, I just review the products. Keep in mind, this is from Porsche, okay? If you go to the Porsche dealership and you ask for an umbrella, an umbrella in Target is gonna run you 10 bucks. In the Porsche dealership, a Porsche umbrella is gonna run you 100 bucks. The same thing with BMW, same thing with Mercedes. Okay, you gotta pay to play. Now I know somebody's gonna say, oh, for that price, I could get two JBL Charge 5s and pair them up together. You could definitely do that, okay? This is a luxury product. You could buy one Rolex or 100 Apple Watches. <laughs> it was up to you. Some people want a Rolex. Okay, they want the quality, and some people want 10 Apple Watches. It's all up to you. Okay, I'm not telling y'all to go out and buy the speaker, but for me, in my personal man cave, I need quality over quantity. Now, y'all know I'm a car guy, so let's go ahead and um, unbox this and enjoy every second. Now, let me change my camera angle. All right, so this is the Porsche 911 speaker 2.0. Now, it's designed after the tailpipe from the Porsche 911 GT3. And if you're a car lover, this is what it's all about. All right, let's see, did I miss anything? Bluetooth 5.0, Qualcomm APTX HD technology, up to 16 hour battery life, in-room wireless technology, you can pair multiple speakers together, and NFC connection for Android devices. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this open. 650 bucks. <laughs> the price is a little TGH, but it is what it is. Okay, so you got your usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. Let's go ahead and see what else you get. Okay, now it does come with a nice carrying case. Okay, let's file that to the side for a minute. And let's see, okay, here it is. Porsche. <laughs> now, I definitely can't afford the 911 GT3. This is more in my price range though, just the tailpipe. Let's gotta hit the zippers. Okay, now you know, presentation is everything on this. You got a uh, USB Type-C to USB-A charging port, uh, charging cable actually. Little poison for the trolls. Let me get a file that. And this is gonna be your speaker. Oh, okay, check this out. Now it actually looks like a tailpipe. Oh, this is so sick. <laughs> this is so sick. Let's see on the back. You got a USB type C charging slot and a 3.5 auxiliary input for non-Bluetooth devices. Okay, got a little rubber flap right there. Okay, on the top, here goes all your buttons. So it looks like 
play and pause, volume up and down, Bluetooth connect. Okay, I'll figure out the buttons in a minute. Let me get a little, let's get a little wipe down on this. I'm gonna wipe the tailpipe down. Look at that. Bro, this is, this is what it's all about. How sick is this gonna look in your office? Okay, a 911 tailpipe. That's an actual speaker. Oh, a little Porsche branding right here. This is crazy. All right, let me grab a phone and we'll pair this up. All right, so real quick, just to recap the buttons, you got power, you got your wireless connect if you want to pair multiple speakers together. This is your Bluetooth pairing button. You got your source button if you want to switch between Bluetooth or your 3.5 auxiliary input. You got a mute button and you got volume up and down. And on the top right there, you got an NFC tag for Android phones. All right, so let's look at the actual build quality. Now you got rubber on the top, on the back, and on the bottom. Okay, nice rubber stopper. That's going to keep it in place on the table. You got the metal all the way around the sides and in the middle of the tailpipe. And this is all chrome. It has a nice hefty weight on this and it looks absolutely beautiful. All right, let's hit that power button. Okay, did y'all hear that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't think y'all heard that. Let's turn it off. We're gonna do that again. Hold up. Hit that power button. Mm! Let's go. All right, let me grab a phone and pair this up. Matter of fact, we can do that real quick. Let's hit the uh, Bluetooth pairing button. Let's see which one is that. We'll hold that down. Bluetooth pairing. Okay. Let's grab an iPhone. Okay, 911 speaker 2.0. Let's see how long it takes to connect. Connected. There it is. And you heard it for yourself. You got voice prompts. All right, so I'm going to play this at maximum volume. Here we go. Sound is coming from here and here and here. <laughs> All right, now. I'm gonna keep it real. It's definitely not the loudest and most bass heavy speaker on the planet. I'm pretty sure this JBL is gonna sound better, which I'll do a little sound test. This is not a real tech heavy speaker. There's no EQ settings, but it does sound good. Let's play another song. Okay, now I gotta be honest with y'all. It does sound good though, okay? Not $650 good, but it sounds good. You're not buying this speaker necessarily for the amazing sound quality. This is a Porsche product and the build quality and look, and I can't even show y'all back here, but I'm getting a little bit goosebumps because I am a real car guy and having a speaker that looks like a tailpipe 
from a Porsche 911. I mean, this is just insane. This is not the speaker that you want to take to the beach, okay? That's the JBL. This is not the speaker that you take outside to wash your car. That's the JBL. But when you're sitting in your man cave, in your recliner, and you got a nice glass of cognac, and you're smoking a little cigar, doing your thing, and you want to mellow out to some music, if you're a real gearhead, you are going to appreciate this. Okay, now, y'all know I'm a BMW kind of guy, but I respect all cars, and this is just crazy. Let's play one more tune. Let's take it to my nephew's track. Yeah, I got a question for you. How many times you knew I was checking for you? Put it on the line, grab the weapon for you. I was front line, I was repping for you. Came by myself, I was stepping for you. Turned the L to a lesson for you. Turned one night to a blessing for you. You didn't think I'd do something special for you. But I wouldn't do nothing special unless it's for you And that's the thing about it And I can't sleep at night when I think about it These niggas think they got it, but I really got it These niggas think they profit, but I really profit I done left the town, got it really poppin' These niggas window shot when I'm really copy. I'm from the city where niggas be milli rockin' I might pull up a 650s with silly options But what's the mathematics? Would you still stick around if I ain't have cabbage? Would you come to my shows if I rap average? Except on my flaws and my bad Habits, heal all my wounds from the backstabbers. And never be someone who will backstab me. Ready for that ride in the black caddy. My son, one son, tell him, ask daddy. He'll be mad happy. But I'm just trying to chill and twist the line. Catch stunts on my 740. Drop me crazy, shorty queens. Just want to see you feel real. But if I post this little bit. Ooh, okay. Now, when I had to speak it like this, I just thought about something. Remember, you could pair multiple speakers together. Imagine on your desktop setup, you got your computer and you got two of these on each side. <laughs> One of these on each side of your computer, maybe you got a nice MacBook or something. It's gonna look like actual tailpipes. I am definitely 100% getting another one of these for my man cave setup. I just wanted to see how one of them sounded. I just wanted to make sure that this one didn't sound like complete trash. I already knew I wasn't gonna be extra blown away by it, but it does sound great. And it does sound great enough that I need another one <laughs> to complete my setup. Now, just for fun, let's compare it to a JBL Charge 5 and see which one sounds better. All right, so now we're gonna do the JBL Charge 5 versus the Porsche 911 Speaker 2.0. Now, we're gonna start off with the JBL Charge 5. Now, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Both speakers at max volume. Here's the JBL. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, how? Okay, here's the Porsche speaker. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, how I... Okay, now the JBL speaker is clearly louder, but I think the Porsche speaker has better bass. It sounds fuller. Let's try that one more time. Here's the JBL. <laughs> How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Here's 
the Porsche. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Okay, <laughs> now the mic not the microphone might not be doing it justice, but I'm sitting right in front of both of these speakers. The JBL definitely sounds better. If I had to pick one just based on sound alone, I would go with the JBL. It's way louder. Even though the bass on the Porsche, it seems a little bit fuller, the JBL just has an overall better sound. But look at the two difference. Height and looks, which one would you rather have on your fancy desktop setup? This JBL with a big JBL branding, you know, this looks like something that's ready to go to the beach. Or do you want this? I am a car guy, okay, so I'm biased. But look at that tailpipe design, the quality, okay, all of the chrome, the metal grills. I mean, this is my style right here, okay? <laughs> this is my style, 100%. Let's kind of wrap this video up. All right, so overall, how would I rank this speaker? For me personally, on a scale of one to 10, this is a major, major, major go. Is it worth 650 bucks? Without a doubt. This is more than just a Bluetooth speaker. This is like home decor. And if you're a gearhead and you're heavy into cars, you're gonna love this. If you got a Porsche, you need this. But realistically, would I recommend this speaker? Yes and no. Now, if you're just looking for a portable Bluetooth speaker for your backyard, maybe for your barbecues, your card games, maybe you want to take it to the beach, you definitely want to go with a JBL Charge 5. Okay, for this price, you could get two of these, pair them together. You could get two of the Soundcore speakers, put them in your office. They're going to sound way better than this. No, I wouldn't recommend it for that price. But, okay, if you're a gearhead and you got a fancy desktop setup, and you want your speaker to be more than just a Bluetooth speaker, you want it to be art, you need this. And let me show you something. This is in my car shop right here, okay? If you look in their office, look under the TV. They got the tailpipe speakers. I mean, they're real gearheads. They got all the car trophies, rims, right in the office. If you're somebody like that, <laughs> you're gonna want this. Now me, I'm already thinking about a setup I'm gonna have my MacBook Pro on a Banks desktop stand so it lifts up a little bit. I'm gonna find some way to get these two to sit like this on both sides. Now I'll do an updated video when I get another one of these so you can see how it looks in the real world. But this is insane, okay, this is insane. Like I said earlier, I am not telling y'all to go out and buy this product. I already know somebody's gonna say it's TGH. It is definitely TGH, okay? Look, perfect example. This Soundcore speaker, it does way more. Right, it does way more, has an app, EQ settings, you know, has a, a microphone built in for phone calls. It does way more. The same thing like a Rolex versus an Apple Watch. The Apple Watch does way more. Okay, you can play music from it, check your text messages, your emails. You know, you could, the Apple Watch does way more than a Rolex, but it's a Rolex. <laughs> okay, some people want quality over quantity. And I can't stress this enough. If you one of my car guy heads, my car guy friends, the car, the gear heads, if you're walking around or driving around with a Porsche 911 GT3, bro, you need this, okay? Now, I don't really know too many people with the 911s. I do know one guy, and I know for a fact when he sees this video, he's gonna buy this immediately. But I wouldn't recommend dropping 650 bucks if you're all heavy into the sound quality and the, uh, <laughs> the tech specs and all of the added features. This one ain't gonna deliver. This is more like home decor. Anyway, this is the Porsche 911 speaker 2.0. I love it. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. 
No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss Do something. Spock here. Spock to beam up. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.